Hello everyone, I'm Luke from HUD Brick, so very excited to bring you this fantastic LEGO Marvel set, which is Attack on Spider Lair. This set comes complete with five minifigures, including three spider suits, two super villains, including Green Goblin and Venom, and of course, Spidey. The spider layer looks fantastic and is pretty big, so without further ado, let's get into this. Wait, 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 let me stop you there. Before we get started, feel free to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other LEGO content, like if you go on to enjoy the video, and last but not least, comment and tell me what you think. But anyway, enjoy the video. So starting from the left, you can see that we have this skateboard ramp. I'm not a huge fan of the color scheme, and I don't think that gray and red work well together, but the set does include an orange skateboard. Spidey can ride on it and basically go up it, do some ollies, do some tricks up here, and come back down. And it is a nice inclusion. So next up, we've got the Spidey Suit Display Case. It's pretty self-explanatory, but it looks pretty great, and the best feature of it is, of course, the Spidey Suits, which we'll take a look at later, as well as the customability of it. And they actually used a lot of tiles in the making of this. And in between, as a transition between the different stations, we have these spider webs with these little robotic spiders in the webs. And we get one of these on either side. So down here, you can see that we've got the Iron Spider's Claws, which I'll show you later when I show you the minifigure. But right behind that, you can see that we've got this tool rack. So here's a tool rack, which includes a flathead screwdriver, a hammer, two different wrenches, and an electronic screwdriver. And on the other side, you can see that we've got this small workout area for Spidey, including this dumbbell with the monkey kid hilt piece in the middle. And when we pull down this little bar, you can see that he has a water bottle to keep him hydrated. And back behind there, we have yet another tool rack with another wrench. Whatever that tool is, I'm not quite sure. We also have that cross thing, and we have an oil can. Comment down below and tell me what these tools are, because I'm not quite sure. And on the other side, we can see that we've got a few more of these customizable units. And yet again, you can just take them off rather easily. This side includes two units with a jail cell using that cool gunmetal gray color, and it's actually pretty small. I'd call that solitary confinement in there, but you can put one minifigure inside of the jail cell. And right next to it, we've got this great basketball hoop. And even though the backboard is a sticker piece, I love the webbing detail for the backboard as well as that Spidey name tag sticker. And I believe that actually is a callback to Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse with all of the different character intros. You can also see we've got a Spidey sticker on the other side and this does look pretty great. So going back to what I was saying earlier about customability, if you haven't already noticed, these look very similar, and the reason is they're completely customizable. So here's what I'm talking about. You can put them all together into singular units and make one big unit. And honestly, this looks like a tiny little spider layer. So here's another way you could put it, and it shows all the different customability that you can do with these. And as you can see from this example right here, you can even switch them around on the layer itself. But honestly, the best way to put it is the way LEGO intended it. And it is finally time to look at the main part of the layer, aka the supercomputer. So you can see down here, we've got Spider-Man in his little swivel chair, drinking a coffee, gonna play some PS4. And speaking of the PS4, you can see we've got a remote right there, connecting to the supercomputer. He also has a Spidey themed keyboard, and those keys look like webs. I don't know how comfortable that'd be, but it does look cool. And last but not least, since he is a reporter, he has his camera. And oh my goodness, does this supercomputer have more easter eggs. So I'm actually just going to take it off by popping this off the top, and then you can just pull it on out. So down here in the left hand corner, it's analyzing all of his different suits, and you can see he's got his regular Spidey suit, his ultimate Spidey suit, and his Iron Spider suit, but he also has an easter egg there with his original Fantastic Four Spidey suit. And the next screen over, you can see that it's analyzing his suit once again, not much to talk about here. But speaking of a lot to talk about, we've got the PS4 right here. This is the PS4 Spider-Man game that was recently released. You can also see Spider-Man is fully colored, swinging from a web, and the New York facade in the background with Avengers Tower over there. You can also see his stud count at the top. 
And so these spiders that were on the webs that I showed you earlier are actually drones, and you can see one of the cameras from the drones right here. Next up you can see the iron spider legs right there, and it actually looks like Lego building instructions. And on the last screen we've got the funniest easter egg in this set, which is an email from J. Jonah Jameson that says, Terrible photo, you're fired. You can also see the photo of Spidey in the corner. And the last part of the actual spider layer is this little platform for the Spidey bike. It's pretty simple, just a small platform connected from the middle, and he can use all the tools from back there to work on it. And last but not least, we've got this amazing Spidey logo on this 3x3 round tile at the top. And so the last build of the set is this small little basketball catapult. Spidey can shoot hoops like that and try to make it into the basket using the backboard. So this catapult is a very simple little thing, basically you've got your basketball, put it in this bin, and hit it right there and it catapults it. Now with the layer itself out of the way, we can take a closer look at the vehicles. This is the Spidey Bike. And the only thing to note here are there are a couple stickers on either side, as well as a small build in the back. And the last vehicle in this set is Green Goblin's Glider, and this looks pretty cool. So Green Goblin can just stand on that little 1x2 area right there and fire a stud shooter. From the back you can see we've got a flame of exhaust coming out, as well as a couple of exhaust pipes at the bottom. And at the front we've got this fantastic sticker for kind of a sinister looking face, as well as a couple of horns at the top. So of course starting off we've got the reason for the set, Spider-Man. You can see that we have this amazing face print with those iconic eyes and web printing on his face. For his torso you can also see his little spider logo, and Spider-Man is pretty ripped with his abs. On the side you can see that we've got some arm printing which would be nice regularly, but it looks very bad on that blue coloring and doesn't match the regular red at all. Turning it to the back, you can see we've got another spider logo, which looks pretty great, and we've got some more web printing for his head. More printing on the side arm, and that's about it for him. And one last thing for Spider-Man, he's got these gigantic webs which he can shoot, and as a collector, I don't think these look very good, but for little kids playing with it, this would be so much fun. Next up we've got the Iron Spider, which once again is just another Spidey suit. But you can see that great gold and red face printing, as well as that really cool logo on the torso and some more ripped abs. As for his tentacles, they look really good in that gold coloring, and that is the Chitari piece on the back. And now the back of the head printing is very light, but I like how LEGO went the extra mile. But speaking of LEGO going the extra mile, he actually has back printing, and usually that wouldn't be seen and be covered up by the tentacles. But you can see the different spots where the tentacles are coming out, and just some different details. One Spidey suit down, two to go. Next up we've got the Ultimate Spider, which is exclusive to this set. He looks absolutely phenomenal with that black and neon green printing. For his face, you can see those iconic spider eyes, and it looks pretty scary at the same time. I love all the detailing for his abs, as well as that cool logo that extends from the legs up to the torso. And as I turn this guy around, unfortunately he doesn't have arm printing, but does have a little bit of back printing, which about mimics the front. And the cool thing about this minifigure is there's not one piece on him that isn't exclusive and printed. And the last Spidey suit we have is the Peter Parker suit. This is kind of Spidey's just lounging clothes that he wears around the lair. You can see that he has that fantastic hat, which is basically the mask pulled up, and you can see the eyes right there. As well as his torso printing, which once again is exclusive to this set. He's got a little Spidey belt, as well as that jacket with the cut-off sleeves, and you can see all the different red detailing around. On the back, you can also see the hood pulled down, as well as more spider logos and the spidey belt. We've also got a face for whenever Peter Parker's wearing this, and if you notice, that is actually my Sig Fig's face. On one side, it's just a smirk, and on the other side, he looks super scared. And the last accessory for this minifigure is just the regular Peter Parker hair. 
And now starting with the villains, we have Green Goblin, and oh my goodness this guy looks fantastic and has so much detail. You can see starting off from the top, he has that fantastic head molding for his hat. You can see it's his hat, it curves down at the bottom, and he's even got those little elf ears which look phenomenal. And his face printing looks so creepy and so evil which is absolutely perfect. Next up for his torso printing, you can see that he has kind of rags with his little satchel stretching across him, which actually is a piece. And last but not least, his leg printing is so cool, you can see some skin exposed on the knees, he's also got kneecaps, and he even has printing on his toes for the little shoes that turn up. He also has an accessory which is just a little stud shooter, and it has an orange stud at the end. And as we turn this guy around, you can see some more printing on the back, about the same as the front, but he also has an alternative face, which is an angry face for when Spider-Man punches him. But overall, fantastic minifigure and great villain. And the last minifigure we have is Venom. You can see some crazy abs on him, as well as that really cool logo for Venom on the front. You can also see some very scary looking face with those big kind of distorted looking spidey eyes, as well as a lot of fangs and his tongue. As I turn him around, you can see he's also got back printing, which about mimics the front as well. And one last thing for Venom, like Spidey, he has these really cool accessories of kind of the Venom energy coming out of his hands. But that's it for the actual review of the set, now it's time for me to give you my final thoughts on the set. I love it. And for $70 USD, this does not look like $70 worth of LEGO. It looks like $80. So I feel like it's a decently good deal. And plus, you get so many exclusive things in this set, including two exclusive minifigures, so many exclusive stickers, and great Easter eggs. And it's an incredible looking set. I only have two complaints about it. The first thing is Spidey's arms. Those things are atrocious. The printing on them is horrible. Honestly, I'd prefer to just have either a regular blue or a regular red arms. But with that printing, it just ruins them. LEGO could have put white printing underneath and then put the red printing on top, which would have matched the color of the actual fig. But they didn't. They didn't go the extra mile, and we kind of hurt from it. But I'm honestly happy with it. You can change out the arms if you want. Next up, I don't really like the color of the skateboard ramp. I would so much prefer a wood texture with kind of a tan coloring. I think that would have made it look so much cooler. But those are my only two complaints with the set, and I would recommend this to almost any LEGO Spider-Man or just regular LEGO fan. It's an incredible display and play set, and once again, for $70, I would recommend it. It gets the HUD brick stamp of approval. But thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you next time on HUD Bricks.